Hey everybody, it's Red Peta Gamer here for another exciting episode of uh, New Super Mario Bros. U. Um, I'm gonna decide to do a quick video real quick to show off some more things of this awesome game. And I also realized that the last time I posted a video, my player pass on it, I had some pretty mediocre gameplay and a lot of people were making fun of me. So I thought I'd, this would be a great opportunity to go ahead and show the challenge mode. Now in the challenge mode, the, one of the coolest things is you can play as your me. Uh, which I'm gonna go ahead and do because just like me in real life, he's got an awesome beard. All right, so in the challenge mode, we have four, uh, actually five different types of challenges, um, and they go in order of time attack, coin collection, one-up rally, special, boost mode, oh, and boost mode, <laughs> and that's uh, the using the gamepad, and I'm pretty sure you can't do that multiplayer. Um, but each of these presents a different challenge, all of which are very cool. I like them a lot. And I figured I can go ahead and show you guys a couple of these. This one I actually got a gold medal on. So, as you'd imagine, the speedrun ones are for speedrunning. And uh, it's very simply just the same level you did before. No changes, really. And you're just trying to get through it as fast as you can. And hopefully, just hopefully, I don't make a fool out of myself. But it looks like I'm doing pretty well. I don't think I'm going to beat my last record. Actually, I might beat my last record. But yeah, um, I've been playing the game for quite a while uh, more since I've done my review, and I'm really, really happy with it. You know, I know a lot of people, like I said, are going to hate on this game because, well, it's not the most original concept as far as Mario games go. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Uh, but, I mean, especially with these challenge modes alone, I really think there's a lot to this game, and I feel like more people should give it a lot more credit. Um, but wow, that was uh, beat my last record by two seconds, but I'm happy with it. You know, out of all the speedruns I've watched, you know, something you learn is you gotta take every second you can get. If you can shave a second off a of time, then that's great. Um, so that one went pretty well. Um, we can go ahead and do full speed ahead since I got a silver in the last one. So I love that you can play as your me too in this mode. It's unfortunate that you can't... Oh, I died. <laughs> I didn't time that jump perfectly. But that's okay, restarting doesn't take too long. Maybe a little longer than I'd like. Um, I oftentimes, when I talk about uh, low times for games like this, like when you're trying to just be really fast, the best thing I can think to compare to... Ah, uh, it totally screwed me up. Uh, yep, yeah. hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna restart. You can also use the controller, the normal Wii remote for this, but I am obsessed with the gamepad, so I'm using the gamepad. Go! Ah, oh, come on, I was on top of that, okay. Um, here, I'll go ahead and show a different level. Um, I don't want to do the boo level because I'm scared of it. Not literally scared of the boo, but never mind. Alright, so this level I actually did have a little bit of trouble with. Imagine, oh god, yeah, you know what? You know, the thing about these speed runs is if you screw up once, it's like, what's the point of trying anymore? Ah, you want to take full advantage of that, like, spinning jump. I mean, seriously. Um, you also notice I'm never really going for power-ups. Um, always go for the triple jumps. And seriously, getting coins, getting power-ups in this mode really doesn't matter. Um, it's not going to make you go any faster, that's for sure. I mean, maybe getting the squirrel suit in some levels would be good, or, you know, having a mushroom would make you... Oh my god, that squirrel came out of nowhere. Um, having a uh, one-up, like, so that would have caused me to not die. You know, I would have... I'd still be alive today if it weren't for that damn squirrel, or if I had a mushroom. But, you know... It's my own fault. Should have been okay, paying a little more attention. Oh, come on! I know people are going to be making fun of me, saying I'm not good at this game, but, you know, don't knock it till you try it. Speedrunning in these games isn't the easiest thing in the world. Oh, gosh, that totally ruined my time. I'll just keep going. Yeah, and the other thing that makes this uh, level harder to speedrun is the fact that you got these heads that, uh, if you're not... Ugh, if you stand on them too long, they fall down. So I can kind of screw you up a bit too. This whole entire level is just trying to screw you up. You just gotta be confident too. Like, you gotta be like, okay, my next. Oh my god. My next jump is gonna be, you know, not. It's not gonna be my last jump. You know, I know what I'm doing. I'm good at this game. I don't have to worry about anything. But that's not always the case. Like, this area right here is kind of difficult. Um, well, actually, I did alright. There we go. So we didn't quite get the gold, but you get the idea. Um, 
So that's the speedrun challenge mode. Uh, they basically just let you go on courses you've already played in the game. And as you play farther in the game, they give you more courses to speedrun, similar to that of the uh, Coin Rush mode in New Super Mario Bros. 2. <clears throat> and speaking of Coin Rush mode in New Super Mario Bros. 2, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next uh, challenge, and that's the coin collection. Um, so I'll just do triple jump for coins. Use the triple jump to collect coins and reach the goal. So now these levels are a little different. Um, these are actually more skill-based levels, and they're not actually... Um, uh, and the levels themselves aren't really uh, actual levels as much as they're just... Oh, God. As much... Oh, come on. Yeah, I screwed this up pretty bad, didn't I? That's fine. Whoa! I've not seen those enemies yet in this game. <laughs> um, so they make these levels basically like obstacle courses for you to play through, um, which is pretty cool. The only thing is they're made specifically, like as you can see, I keep doing that spin in my jump, and that's what's screwing me up, is they're not intending you... Maybe they are intending you for... I'm gonna not make it alive. <laughs> I never said I was good at this. I'm not terrible. I'm not as bad as you guys think. <laughs> It's stage fright, okay? But no, I love these challenge modes. Like, I, you know, it's always fun to challenge yourself in Mario games. Ah, oh, God. It's always fun to challenge yourself in Mario games, but then, like, when they actually include that, like, special extra challenge, like, it's it's fantastic. Oh, I didn't get all of the silver coins. I didn't even get a medal. I suck. I'm bad. Okay, well, you get the idea with that one. I'm not going to retry it. I'll try the next one. Hot Hidden Coin Hunt. Hit the P-Switch and collect the coins. Challenge ends when the P-Switch effect ends. So we got to get all these coins as fast as we can. Oh, get him! Oh, almost. So we got a bronze. Whatever, that's okay. So that one, there's going to obviously be a bit more like that. And as you um, meddle in different levels, you unlock more levels, as you'd expect. And that Yoshi is so darn cute. Alright, so we unlocked a new challenge. Um, this new one is Stingy Big Piranha Plants. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to the 1-Up Rally, which is probably the coolest one. In my personal opinion, I think this one's freaking awesome. Uh, in this one, you need to go ahead... Oh, God. Did not expect to get those guys in one jump. You need to jump on all the Goom Brats and get three one-ups. Easy enough, right? <laughs> it is the first one, so it's not that bad. Once again, these levels are designed specifically with these challenge modes in mind. Tied the high score? Well, that's the highest you can go. No, I don't want to replace my replay. Um, this time we'll go ahead and go to three dry bones because it's well, it's one I haven't done yet. And the oh my gosh, the gold is 30, so this could be a little difficult. Oh my god, that was bad. Okay, so it seems the way we're supposed to do this is we have to jump on the enemies. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then you also have to use the walls to allow the enemies to respawn without touching the ground. Easier said than done, game. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is not easy. I don't care what you say, it's not that easy. <laughs> But that's why they're called the challenge modes. Um, I love these. Like, I like seriously. Like, I almost like this more than the actual game itself. Like, I would play a Mario game that was filled with these. And that's kind of where I've been uh, the last couple, the last hour or so. Is just playing these. Oh my gosh! It's just playing these challenge modes because they're just. It's it's you know it's something they haven't. This is brand new. Like this isn't something we've seen in a Mario game yet. I don't care what anyone says. I know people like to complain and say, oh, they're just doing the same stuff over and over again, but this is pretty cool. Okay, you get the idea. I'm going to stop being terrible and not do that anymore. All right, so I'll show you guys the special one now. Um, I did the Graceful Glide one, but we'll try this one. Dodge the fireballs for 15 seconds or longer. So this is like a survival mode, which is kind of cool. 
fire brew. So you have these fire gotroopas, fire koopas, fire koopa bros, I don't really know what to call them. We're throwing their fireballs at mixed intervals, trying to slip you up a bit. But this isn't too bad. Why can't they all be this easy? I expected them to like drop down another character to be throwing stuff at me. Ooh, that was close. There we go, got the gold. Might as well go to the timer runs out. Ultimate Survivor! Awesome. So that one's kind of easy, but it was the first one, so I know I'm not surprised. Look how pudgy my me looks. I'm self-conscious. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, the next two. Because, yeah, these ones are really cool because they're, like it says, they're special. So it's a lot of really uh, fixed things. It's kind of it's kind of like rom hacking almost like what a lot of this a lot of these challenges are. So the whole idea of this one is you have to get one ups, but to get them you have to go ahead and jump on all these goom brats, and you have to ah dang, you have to avoid touching the ground, um, which isn't really that difficult given the fact that you have the squirrel suit on, which my me looks awesome wearing by the way. Um, and you know, I can skip, like, these ones down here if I really am having trouble with them. But then I won't be able to get the gold, so what would be the point? Ah, man. See? I mean, you can, yeah, I mean, you can also wall jump, but you're not really going to be able to wall jump all the way over there. Okay, I'm just going to avoid the lower ones because I keep having trouble with them. Okay, so just, well, we can get the first one because I have no trouble with that one, really. I missed. That's fine. Let's glide gently down. Ah, I missed him. Maybe we can glide back. Wait, what? Oh, that is. I think that is what we're. Wait, where do I go now? Where do I go? <laughs> okay, so we got silver. You get the idea. What? I guess they're just saying that because... Oh, well. Wait, why did they make me do it again? Alright, I'll try it one more time, I guess. I think... Oh, I must have hit try again. That must be why. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Uh-oh. Yeah, and if you get hit, you automatically lose. Okay, I don't want to try again. Multigol! Oh, so we have to get gold for these. There is no silver in... Oh, wow. Let Monty Mo... Oh, I didn't see what that said. Oh, why... Uh, ugh, why did I do that? <laughs> Let Monty Mole onto the lift and get him... To okay, so we're basically escorting Monty Mole to the end of the level. Kind of strange. But then, if you've ever seen this before, this basically means that we can only have... A certain amount of enemies on the board without a sinking. Look at the bat. You know, I haven't gotten to the jungle levels yet, but they look so gorgeous. So if we're not fast enough taking out these Goombas, they will make us sink. So just gonna go ahead and jump back and forth right here. That was close. Okay. Oh wait, we did it. Awesome. Haha! <laughs> Can't get me. Is he celeb? Is that, see, that's a very odd game mode idea, but it's it's cool. I like it. Very interesting. I guess there really is no way you could get a silver medal or a bronze medal for that. You either do it or you don't. Okay, so then the next one is Bubble Up, but I'm not going to show that now. I'll just go ahead and show the four or the fifth and final one. Uh, we'll go ahead and do coins in the forecast. Oh, okay. So I can't do that on my own, unfortunately. I have to have another person. That's too bad. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and do another speedrun one, because I like the speedrun ones. Actually, you know what? I'll do another coin one, because I only did one. Reach the goal ring, collecting as few coins as possible. 
Okay, so that's kind of funny because lately I've been trying to uh, do a run on this game I play a lot called Spelunky on Xbox Live Arcade. And one of the missions is to get through the game without collecting any uh, any treasure. So that's kind of what this reminds me of No, I already lost pretty much. Alright, so yeah, once again we have these specially made missions only for challenge mode. Which is awesome. I love it. They're not recycled levels. I mean, I know obviously these levels aren't that hard to make on their own. But still, it's cool that they separate it so you're not feeling like you get gypped. Alright, so we'll do lack. So see, it's cool. Coin collection, it's not necessarily just getting a bunch of coins. Uh, I like to use cloud and use it to. Okay, cool. See a lot of these really cool. I, I love it. It's very, very awesome. So we gotta get this cloud and collect all the money before it goes away. Go up there and get the rest. No! Alright, so we got bronze. Not the best thing in the world, but I'll take it. But yeah, um, if you guys have any questions or suggestions about uh, this game mode or challenge mode, let me know in the comments below. I want to know what you guys think, and if you guys have done any of the missions that I've already done, I'd like to know. Oh, dash to the okay. I'd like to know uh, what you think of it, how well you've done on them. So, like, if you've done this one I'm doing right now, the time trial attack. Uh, what was your time for it? Uh, did you do way better than me? Did I do way better than you? You don't want to talk about it because you're embarrassed. Ah, oh, god. Speaking of embarrassed. Oh god. Booyah! Oh, I was so close. So close to getting the gold. That's okay. But you know, they say if you're not first, you're last. But anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let me know if you want to see more Wii U content, and let me know what that is if you want to see it. So, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Repanda Gamer. See you guys next time.